Howdy folks, another uh, random thing from eBay here. This is a light meter, uh, so this just measures lux, and uh, I got this uh, for something like 10, 11 bucks, and uh, I vaguely remember the title of the listing saying high accuracy, uh, and I think they spelled the word accuracy wrong, so uh, that's, uh, that's a bit of irony there. So I don't really expect this thing to be accurate at all. Uh, but that's not my, uh, that's not really my goal. Uh, I don't really care if it measures 300 lux when it's only 200. I mean, I mean, I doubt it's that, that far out, but I mean, I don't care. Um, basically I just want to measure something, see what it reads, measure something else and see if it's higher or lower. That's really all I care about. So, I mean, you probably would have to spend at least 10 times what I paid for this to get something that actually is accurate to what this thing says it is. I think it says in the documentation, something like two to six percent or something. Actually, let me get that. This is the horrifying, horrifying Chinglish. Uh, I mean, this this is pretty hard to read. Um, where does it say? Spectral accuracy, less than six percent. Okay, so accuracy, yeah, plus or minus 5%, plus or minus 10 digits. Two, yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't believe, I don't believe a single thing that manual says. So anyway, um, I thought I'd just go over it, take the cover off, see what's inside. Um, so this is the, the head. It does have a tripod mount, which is quite nice, it's a metal insert. Uh, it's got a rubbery cap, which is always nice. And we've got this uh, this white opaque um, diffuser over the photodiode that's in here. This is most certainly a photodiode in here. But we'll open it up and we'll find out. It's got one of those uh, spring uh, cords. It's actually not a bad cord for, uh, the, for the price. We've got a square LCD here, a bunch of buttons, and a little, like, tiny, tiny instructions Please replace the two double or triple A batteries when it's there's no space there. Low power. And uh, I just put some random batteries in it. Of course it doesn't come with batteries. I had to pillage those from a remote, I think. So you turn it on and uh it's it's actually uh, the the UI is actually not that bad. Um so it gives you your lux. Um you can select the range manually. Or you can put it in auto range. It's got the you know it says high if you're over range. Um, you can you can hold values. You can do a max value, a min value. Uh, you can have it record values over a period of time. Uh, so at certain intervals, uh, and then you can play them back later. So if you want to, let's say, leave the room, and then you know just basically get yourself out of the equation so that you know that there's nothing in the room. Um, that's, you know, you can, you, can, you can actually do some pretty nice stuff with this. Um, I mean, the software is not crap, although it may be a bit challenging to read the manual. Um, it's actually, I mean, compared to other meters I've seen on eBay for roughly the same price, uh, this one has a hell of a lot more features, and that's why I went for it, basically, in, instead of any other ones. So, uh, there's three screws. Hopefully I can get these. Oh no, the recessed son of a diddly. Give me a minute to get a better screwdriver. Okay, maybe not a better screwdriver, but at least uh, the thinnest one I've got. I know I've pulled this out like twice, but I mean it's the only one that fits in these tiny holes. Don't want to lose those. I'm actually at my real desk today, not my blue desk. So I have my keyboard and everything up here. Sorry if the angle's a little bit off. There's not as much room on this desk because there's actually stuff on it. Okay, so let's see, can I feed that through? Okay, that's that's interesting. So they've got they've got a connector here for the batteries, which is nice. And then they've got a little plastic plate screwed in which I think holds the cable in by friction 
Um, and I'm not really going to bother to take that off because I think we can already see everything we're going to see in this thing, uh, basically. It's it's pretty pretty bare, as I expected. It's a cob. You can see with the epoxy on there. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm even surprised that they put a, a connector for the batteries. Uh, obviously, you can see where the LCD strip is probably on the other side, or that's unpopulated probably for a different model. Just a lonely diode in the middle there. There's another unpopulated connector down in the corner there. It's not marked as to what it goes to. Uh, we do have two surface mount ICs. Uh, let's see, one is a, I'm trying to read this upside down, uh, 74HC40 uh, 74HC4066D and the other one hmm, K24C02 one four one zero TDX doesn't ring a bell. Doesn't ring a bell. Are there any dates on this here? I don't see any date codes, so I don't know how long this thing was sitting on a shelf for. But uh, pretty bog standard as I'd expect. I, I what I what I'm more interested in is just to see how they've made the. How they've, how they've done this. Is it a photodiode? Is it a phototransistor? How well is it packaged up? How legit does it look? Is it held in with sticky tape? Because we all knew what the electronics were going to look like. I'm just more interested in what the sensor looks like. Okay, so we have a, a little plastic... Uh, diffuser which is just sort of sat in there. It's keyed so it doesn't rotate around like that matters. This is interesting. So it's a board, a little board, which has a, it almost looks like a bare die. Yeah that's, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, that looks like just a bare die on a board, and then they've put a plastic case on it, which has a little window, probably has some sort of a... It's tinted, so I want to say that that's a, a filter of some sort, uh, possibly for infrared. But yeah. Yeah, so it's not just some sort of, like, you know, off-the-shelf... Uh, plastic, you know, basically like an L, like a LED case style. Can't remember what that case is called, but you know, it's not it's, it's not it's not as cheap as that. At least it looks like it's it's somewhat of a legitimate uh diode. It is definitely a diode because there only there's only two pins here, so it's not a it's not a transistor. Interesting. Okay. Well, I really don't have any way of testing its accuracy or anything like that because I don't have any other meters. But uh, I'll I'll be using this probably as I go through all of my uh, energy efficient lighting replacements and stuff. And I'll probably do a follow up at some point to uh, let you guys know how this thing fared throughout all that stuff. But uh, until then, thanks for watching.